Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it, he will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem after Jafar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So these fighters relatively close in age, just a year apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get a story, here gentlemen, is Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Big Daddy! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Great punch. What a tricky head kick. Liver kick. Kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, 
counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Huge block there. Able to land with the left hand there. Big ball from Crutch Land. Now he gets back to range. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He is all about that left kick to the body. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is the technique you use. To really slow down your opponent. Oh! And now he lands a combination! And he comes through with a big knee. Huge just lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Back and forth we go. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Punch over the top. Big leg kick land. And he landed the right hand there. Wow, what a kick. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, straight right. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. The next with a right. Nice loop and punch. Beautiful body kick. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Head kick. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Lee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Goes back to that left kick once again. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Big kick land. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Not there. Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Throws the right hand there. Four shots for the end of round one. So a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. Nice counter right hand lands for him. Check, check, 
Well, missed on that one. Oh. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about the jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Vicious combo there. Oh. Nice punch land. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Checks that leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Beautiful kick. Cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Came with inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace and uptick in the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Just unable to quite find that range. Right under the elbow, body kick playing. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Pretty good right hand. Nice punch by Lee. Punch is blocked. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. Continues to work the body. Oh, and kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice right hand, John. Just misses there with the left. Out of range with that kick attempt. 30 seconds to go in round two. And a miss with the right hook. 20 seconds to go. 15 seconds. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights he has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was gonna be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. 
and I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Get back out here, work on that cut. He sliced open good. There's a lot of blood. You can't go much more. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are going to really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Beautiful punch. Tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Just a slip there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And he switches his stance yet again. Big punch land. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, nice right hand. Powerful leg kick land. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Guy. Right on the cut. It's targeted it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beam on that cut. He's just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He's just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Then both guys really throwing with authority. Nice leg kick lands. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Way to hide that leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these guys. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may wanna start checking some of these. He blocks the shot. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Right hand upstairs! 
table of inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night that that landed. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautiful strike. Decent right hook attempt, but it's no good. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Relax, you're okay. You got rocked that last round, but you're fine. You're still here right now. This next round, we're gonna... All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Nice punch there. Caught the kick. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Back and forth we go! That's a big strike right there. Is right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landed. Got clipped with the right hand. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his torso? Nasty. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, Roundhouse, talk to me about that kick. He is throwing his entire body into that kick to the point that he turns all the way around before he can face his opponent again. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Flips the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, that's a nice strike. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, that right hand is on point. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Nice, sneaky head kick. 
looking to land the leg kick now. Straight punch on the counter is good by Lee. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Liver kick. Lands a strike there. 15 seconds. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down for opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pitch. Horn Trump, Trump. sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Please kick his blocks. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to be... the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Nice head kick. Went for the inside leg kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight. And lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, that is it. Unbelievable. He got him. Woo! I should say so. A tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called to stop this contest at two minutes, four seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what 
a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands, that puts out your opponent's lights. 